So here's an odd problem I noticed. Just uh, bouncing this car a little. You know, on the bumper here. This side eh, moves alright. This side, however, I can't even tell what the hell I'm doing here. You can hear that. You hear that clunk? It just stops abruptly. It's not even moving that much. What the hell that is? Bad shock, maybe? I'll have to lift it up and find out. I'm going to take a look underneath this thing. Get up on the ramps now. Look at that clunk there. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see anything obviously wrong. What's what that noise could be, why it stops abruptly, other than this. Just kind of see the orange here. orange on the shock and the destroyed rubber there you know it tells me these are original shocks the original shocks were painted orange those were made by decarbon which is really surprising that this thing still has its original shocks but I'm not surprising that there's something wrong with them because this thing for a long time and with that many miles on them I can't believe they still do anything. Right, looking underneath here, it's no worse than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's surface rust. Um, some garbage oil filter. things comes free if they get advanced never trusted those I don't think that's a problem here because I don't think this thing's old this filter's old enough to have been a problem when this car was abandoned if the years are right um, transmission does appear to be a rebuild like the guy said torque conversion painted oil pans painted yeah, that's a good sign Hopefully it's a quality rebuild. Yeah, only time will tell. I find this kind of interesting. GM leaves these linkages on here for the uh, column shift that this never had. <laughs> uh, more scaling rust all the way back here on the driver's side. Cross members peeling. All the paint failed here, but. This is all solid though. This isn't like the Rust Master, which is good. Wire brush this and uh, rust proof it, it'll be good. And open C channel frame on these, not like the wagons. And supposedly this exhaust has been replaced. And. Looks like it's stainless, so it might be a GM exhaust. Yeah, the other body, paint, sand it and paint it. Should be alright. So it's a project. And you can't really see it on camera. Since there might be a little bit of orange left on those shocks too, so those are probably originals. The clunking sound up front. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the shock is bad. It has to be. <laughs> you know, nothing else. Strict to hit. Probably a fairly recent radiator. It's in good shape. This here looks like someone towed this freaking car with a hook by the rad support. That could be unbent. Man, that's mangled. 
Well, it's not too bad. Let it start it up. See if that sound gets any louder underneath the car. Pull the belt off, see if the accessory tries. <laughs> How cool would that be? Not the flex play, I already checked it out. Sounds like a rod to me. It's definitely a rod, there's no doubt about it. Oh, the air pump still works, holy crap. <laughs> Get it all fixed up. One of the advantages of the hoarding parts. <laughs> That's pretty good though for having a rod problem. Yeah. There'll be more of this to come. Don't know what I'm going to do with the engine swap. Don't even know what I'm going to do with this here. I'm not so I thought of that. Oh, crap. <laughs> mm -hmm. 